Hello, I am Patrice Jackson, and I am a doctoral candidate in pharmaceutical sciences, medicinal chemistry at Howard University. As a student, I spend an exorbitant amount of time in the lab where I could be running an organic synthesis reaction, which can take anywhere from 6 to 10 hours, purifying a chemical entity, analyzing a compound via melting point, infrared, or nuclear magnetic resonance, or milling off pure compounds for biological testing to the National Institutes of Health. On average, I spend about 8 to 12 hours in lab, Monday through Saturday. In between lab work, I have various meetings with my primary investigator and lab mates. I mentor pharmacy students who have joined our lab with their research projects, and I spend time reading research articles and tutoring a college student in general chemistry. The most challenging aspect of being a doctoral candidate is the research. In my field, out of 10,000 synthesized chemical entities, there is a possibility that only one will make it to the drug market. It can be a challenge to stay self-motivated in the face of disappointing results, but just having the opportunity to be a part of the drug discovery and drug development process is something that I relish and that is very attractive to prospective students. When I speak to both undergraduate and graduate students about my position and what I do, I find that they always get excited about the possibility of making a potential drug or being involved in the drug development process and publishing the scientific work. In order to be a doctoral student in the pharmaceutical sciences, one must have obtained a BS or BA degree from an accredited college or university. A candidate for medicinal chemistry should have a strong background, primarily in organic chemistry, as well as the understanding of pharmacology and or biochemistry. My suggestion to students who are interested in pursuing a similar path to my own is to do research on the necessary undergraduate courses and to then look into joining the professional affiliation in the desired field of science, such as AAPS, ACS, SDB, and several others, while also participating in as many internships as possible to achieve hands-on experience in a lab setting. I started this journey five years ago, having come to Howard specifically to work with Dr. Kenneth Scott in the area of epilepsy. Therefore, I am proud now to train in the area of science that I am most passionate about and which allows me to contribute to a process that positively impacts so many people.